Hello and welcome to another update video about ARB. ARB currently shows the pullback um, that we already talked about yesterday in the video. Um, highlighted to you that the wave count to the upside in, well, basically three waves to the upside could be technically complete there in the white third wave that you can see there on the screen. We have three waves up from the, um, what was it here, from the September lows, wave one, wave two, wave three. Yep, that third wave could technically be complete. If that's the case, then we're watching now for a fourth wave pullback, which would be typically an A, B, C structure. So that's sort of what I'm watching for at the moment. It is still possible to get one more high, but this pullback starts to get somewhat substantial. Um, we will really only know it, I think, if we get a clear A wave and B wave. So the next rally, if that's corrective, it can give us a hint that, um, and it doesn't exceed the latest high, which was formed at $2.42, $2.43, then it will indicate that there should still be a C wave to the downside in a wave four. And this C wave might then target the area between $1.95. Well, see, that's very shallow for a wave four, but more likely maybe the $1.70 level, which is the 38.2 retracement level in this fourth wave. I have to say though, if the orange box breaks if the orange support area breaks then we're in a more bearish scenario in a very unclear scenario then because that would be the yellow count in which the market topped in a three-wave structure but that's not what i'm primarily watching for at the moment until the market gives me further evidence for that um we are currently across the sector in a correction but you know it's it's so far a corrective pullback so it's um, in line with the white scenario what is worth mentioning though, and that's what these Fibonacci levels are, are good for. Um, first of all, I said, okay, as long as the trend line is holding, we might see a third wave higher, more directly in this wave count, even though it can be counted as complete, right? So I did explain to you in the previous videos that possibly we completed here a wave one that was in November last year. Wave two pullback or wave B. And then because we're dealing with an overall diagonal, you know, this has to be a diagonal because the wave one is also an ABC structure. The third wave is also an ABC structure and we completed the A wave with the top here in uh, December. We completed the B wave and we're likely now moving up in this C wave. And the C wave has five waves, but it would be another ending diagonal. So the micro counting isn't so reliable. But it gives us an orientation and we can say, okay, minimum requirements for this move up are fulfilled. It might get another high, but sort of close to a top. And once we get a break below the ascending trend line, it might indicate that the wave four is unfolding and then it should be an A, B, C structure. And yeah, the A wave could uh, react to the $1.95 level. If we see a break below the trend line, we might see it trigger $1.95. That is an ideal target for an A wave in a wave four then a B wave rally, and then a C wave down. This would be um, what I'm watching for here primarily. The B wave, of course, should remain corrective. Um, ideally, it doesn't overshoot. Well, sometimes these wave four B waves overshoot, but it would be pretty much, in, pretty much in line with what Bitcoin is doing. If you watched my Bitcoin videos, also here, maybe one more low in the A wave, then we should get a B wave and a C wave. So it's pretty close to what Bitcoin is doing at the moment, I think, in terms of wave count, also in terms of micro count um, i mean going to the one hour chart again really really this sort of micro counting isn't so reliable when we deal with um, an altcoin but yeah again here as well a waves can be five waves so this could be a wave one this could be a wave two three four five uh, you have an overlap there between wave one and four that's acceptable because an a wave can be a leading diagonal and it seems to be one because the wave one here also seems to be a three wave move. I mean, that's just sort of an idea I have, but I also have to say, let's just double check the FIPS because the third wave should typically reach the 1.38 extension, uh, maybe the 1.236, but um, I think it reached it perfectly actually. Yeah, the 1.38. Yeah, so I think this is sort of, where in the A wave, we might be dealing with five waves down here. Um, that's uh, acceptable. And then, yeah, the A wave might land sort of in the area between $1.96 and $1.87. Uh, 
and that matches quite well that 23.6 fib level there so yeah that's sort of what i'm watching let's see if we find a, and see a reaction there somewhere also the wave five is already a three wave move might get a few more squiggles down and then we should see a reaction that's at least how i see it at the moment looking at the indicators looking at the one hour chart oversold on the rsi four hours still has more space yeah more space to the downside but that would be potentially in the c wave eventually in this wave four so but the one hour is nearly well it is already oversold yeah? um, or it's just approaching the 30 mark there at least for a b wave bounce um seems the right uh the right setup okay yeah that's my update about um, arb hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye